guys. So I know those of you who are confused, this is in the past, way back in the past. It is January 10th, three days before JB's birthday. Y'all, introvert parents to an extrovert child. I should probably start a vlog on a vlog, excuse me, on that because whew, <laughs> JB has indirectly scheduled a birthday party for himself. I initially had just invited over one little boy, right? And so I went over to where he is at during the daytime. One of the neighborhood parents, he keeps him. And I've been over her house several times. She's real cool, real chill from Chicago. Chicago people are real chill, right? So um, I reminded him, I said, baby, remember, I'm gonna go over and ask your mom, but remind you to come over on Saturday for your birthday party. Some other little kids overheard that, and she was basically like, can I come? There was like a three second pause, me looking at her with a cute little long hair. And before I could even like make up something, JB was like, yeah, you're all invited. I was like, yeah, sure. Yeah, you, <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. So overall, there's gonna be about three or four, about four kids. No, <laughs> yeah. Three or four kids and about five or six adults. So anyway, um, I went to the Dollar Tree. I immediately went to the Dollar Tree because you guys, I'm the type of person when I invite, when, usually I invite people over, but she's a baby. So when I invite people over, I plan like two or three weeks in advance because that's just how I am. So I literally have three or four days to put this all together. Went to the Dollar Tree, got a few things. The Dollar Tree is slacking. They didn't have hardly anything. So I told them all, I said, this is very informal. You don't even have to give gifts. You don't have to bring any gifts. It's very informal. Uh, I'll probably do like two or three appetizers. I'll show you guys all of that, all of the setup because I like to make people feel at home. These people have never been in my, actually that's a lie. Two of them have been in my home. Um, the other family hasn't been in my home, but I like to feel, make people feel comfortable. So I'll probably make about two or three quick appetizers, make sure it's all kid friendly, because it's for the kids. And um, I will be serving a punch. I won't be serving, put it like this, I won't be serving loose alcohol. So you can't come over here and have vodka with a cranberry. I'm not gonna be having no beer, I'm not gonna be having no wine. And it's walking distance. Everyone is walking distance between for me i'm a little um when it comes to alcohol with kids especially a birthday party because it's supposed to be about the kids but since i know these people and again we're walking distance i'm okay with serving just a punch girl just a punch um if it was like people from his school or people parents i don't know i would not serve alcohol that's just how i feel i wouldn't do any alcohol at all but i'm gonna do a little punch a little cranberry cranberry vodka punch and like i said Everyone is like walking distance. Anyway, um, meatballs, chicken nuggets, a corn salsa, and that's it, his birthday cake, child. JB doesn't eat cake. And y'all see me, I am pretty good, I think, at making cake. So I'm gonna make a, a regular white cake with a strawberry filling, cream cheese, buttercream, cream cheese, buttercream cheese, whatever, frosting girl, it's gonna be good. Um, and we're gonna decorate it with gummy bears for him. So yeah, it'll be cute, it'll be cute, it'll be something. I just get a little, what is that? I am cleaning. You guys, I don't keep my hair, house hair, I don't keep my house cluttered or very dirty, but I'm looking at my house with Southern Baptist eyes. I'm judging everything. <laughs> so it's um, three days before the get together. I don't even wanna call it a party. Three days before the get together, and I'm gonna go ahead and straighten every, just start straightening stuff, putting stuff away, like my camera equipment and my background. They don't need to see all that. I'm gonna put that in the guest bedroom. I'm um, wiping everything down with bleach. I don't know. I'm getting to the point to where I really don't like candles as much, and I don't even like those Glade plug-ins. Those can be overwhelming to to me. Um, I like incense still, because I'm I don't know a little old school. I like incense, but. From what I understand, those candles can even be a little bit toxic. We ain't gonna get into all of them. Anyway, I like to straighten up, get everything ready. I really focus on the areas where the people will be walking in and the bathroom, really focus on that. Good girl. Y'all, I took the time, the perfect time to stop vlogging because, hold on, let me kind of zoom this out some. It has been crazy. I mean, 
since I pulled JB out of his daycare, now I don't want to call it daycare, out of his school. Um, and those of you who don't know, in one of my hair related videos, I discussed how there was an incident at his school. I pulled him, immediately pulled him out. So he's been home with me for um, two weeks now. Girl. It has been fun, let me tell you. I mean, he has been, he was good the first week, meaning last week. But this week, baby, like the last two days were crazy. So I actually took him over to a neighbor who runs an indoor daycare. And I had her to watch him for an hour or two. I actually need to pay her. My husband made a good point. He's like, because she offered to do it without me paying her. She's like, I'll just watch him for an hour or two for you. Um, but he said, since that's her, that's what she does for, that's her career, I should pay her. So I'm going to, I'm going to drop her off some money. Anyway, um, so he was over there for a few hours today. And he said that seemed to help him because he calmed all the way down. But it's just been crazy week. I mean, because of that, of me pulling him out. And then last week was winter break out here. And I'm like, winter break? Didn't you? These kids were out for two weeks for winter break. They had a fall break. I'm like, oh my God. So anyway, everyone just got back this week is my whole point. So literally every day I've been touring a different school, you know, on my lunch break, looking at a different school. Finally found one I think that's going to work out today. I interviewed them today and I'm um, going to register him for that. But I'm just, I'm just frustrated, y'all. Because I have to do all that, pay another registration fee. These, these fees are not cheap. I mean, I'm dropping minimum 500 on Friday just for school. <sighs> oh my gosh. So anyway, that's going on went to the to the dollar tree and picked up a couple of more things for his um party on saturday and he called himself saying his throat was hurting today child i did a quick prayer over him dropped him some medicine i think that is due to the weather the weather is changing here um it dropped 15 degrees um so i'm going to um just stay on him for the couple of days until his party on Saturday. He should be okay by then. I think it's his allergies. So anyway, that going on and child, why did I check the mail a couple of days ago and there was a ticket in there? I knew it was coming. A camera had flashed on us while I was in um, Scottsdale. It was the week of Christmas. They probably were like, let's, let's make sure all these cameras are in tune. Get all these dang on people. <laughs> so, I know what happened. I was in Scottsdale on Tatum. Was that Tatum? Yep, Tatum. I forgot that they have cameras out there. They removed the cameras on the freeways or highways, but the cameras are on those damn streets. Oh, yes. They got cameras everywhere. But, baby, I haven't had a ticket in years, so I'm going to take driver's defense class. Um, But let me tell you the issue with that. Got the ticket, and it has my maiden name on it, right? So I immediately called the court and I'm like, look, my maiden name is on this ticket. First of all, the girl was like, I'm like Vivian L. Jackson's on that t this ticket. I'm Vivian Denza. She's like, oh, so that wasn't you? I said, no, the name. But she's like, oh, so that she was trying to get me out of that. But I'm like, mm, no, because it was a, a sister. I could tell it was a sister. Nah. But I'm like, no, y'all, I'm very honest. If, if something's my fault, I'm going to own up to it. And I was like, no, it was me. I got my name changed. I even changed my middle name. Like, I have two middle names, so I changed. I said, no, that was me. I was speeding, and I saw it. So this is my ticket. I'm going to pay for it. Thank you, but no. Because <laughs> then what happens, I'll get another ticket for double that, right? It'll come around some other way. So anyway, she was basically like, oh, well, you need to contact um, the MVD because the record is under your old name. So I'm like, cool. That was a couple of days ago, right? So I called back today and I'm like, well, let me figure something else out. So this young lady was like, child, she knew exactly what to say. I could tell she'd been doing this for a long time. <clears throat> she was like, yo, you need to contact the MVD. I'm like, what's their number? She read it off like a dang on computer. <laughs> 60225. I'm like, oh, girl, go take a break. Dang. So anyway, she gave me the number. I called them up. They're like, well, do you have a lease? Are you are you making payments? I'm like, yeah, I'm making payments in the car. What does that have to do? She said, well, did you change your name with them? I had to think about it. I'm like, I changed my name with my bank. I didn't change my name with the credit union, though. 
and that's who so i'm like oh so i had tried to change my name with the credit union last year and they were like oh you just can't do that and so i just never got around to it so again my fault i'm owning up to it so i gotta do that now i have to change my name to the credit union and then they have to resend that to the mvd and then the motor vehicle division has to department whatever the hell they have to redo my registration, car registration, resend the ticket. And I'm like, I hope y'all send this within two or three weeks because so dealing with that, dealing with JV school, birthday party coming up. Y'all, yeah, it's 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 a lot this week. And my hair is looking all, all types of mess. I am way behind on a wash day. And typically I wouldn't be concerned about it, but but since I'm going places and have to do stuff, I need to actually do my hair. So I'll probably wash my hair in the morning. I wanted to do that Jane Carter wash video too, but at this point, I won't be able to do that. But thank God I'm off. Both my husband and I took off um, during JB's birthday. Y'all, we always do this. We always take off. We want to we wanna focus on him. He's our only child, and we just want to focus on him. So... I took off for two days and I think he took off a week. I'm like, I gotta see you up with him. We'll probably um go out to eat next week. Oh, but baby, I'm gonna sit up for this. The Black Panther um tickets went on sale this week, y'all. I knew it was gonna happen. I think that Black Panther, the movie, is going to be the highest gross movie this year. I I'm claiming it right now in the name of Black Jesus. I really do. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm just playing. I really do think that. And I'm so ready for it. I did not know. Look, now I'm really sitting up. Let me find his name. Hold on, y'all. Girl, black people, we do not age. Baby, when I tell you, we can be anywhere between... <laughs> we can be anywhere between 25 and 45 in any given day. I think that black people don't even start to age until after 50. <laughs> Chadwick Bosman is how old is he when i found out how old he was i'm like the devil is a lie for chadwick bosman 42 why does he look 15 years younger than that at least i thought he was a kid meaning in his late 20s 20 like, like 28 29 42 years old 42 years old that man is fine one and he looks good for his age and 42 is not old at all he's american that's a strong jawline, y'all. I really thought that was a Nigerian jawline. <laughs> I know you're thinking, what's a Nigerian jaw? Yeah, I know Nigerian Nigerians have strong facial features. I really thought he was um but South Carolina, South Carolina um brothers and sisters didn't really mix with um uh other ethnicities or other races I should say. So that could explain it. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like his family just was like, no, nah, we good. <laughs> All right, you guys. So it is the night before JB's birthday party. And this is his cake I made. I'll show them that, baby. I'll show them that stuff. He's so excited, y'all. This is his first birthday. This is the cake I made. He wanted a Sour Patch cake. It's not Yay! perfect, but he loves it. You like your cake, baby? <laughs> It looks, it's looking big. It looks big. It's two layers now. I'm a bit concerned because, one, I'm not sure how to cut this. I have to call my mama how to cut it. I didn't put, <laughs> he's laughing. I didn't put any icing in between the layers. I put, um, what did I put? I put uh, strawberry preservatives, but the reason why I'm concerned is the cake is a little overdone. <laughs> So the icing in between would have made it moist, but I did do a little drizzle of lemon, so hopefully that'll work. So, okay, baby, I'm coming over. So, since this was a last minute birthday party, somebody just willed themselves a birthday party into existence by inviting random people. So I, I went to the Dollar Tree and got a couple of decorations. Um, <laughs> I have some balloons here I got today from the Dollar Tree, but I put them all up. Um, plastic wear and stuff like that. Now I will be serving, now I changed my last, I changed my mind at the last minute, four appetizers. Um, we're gonna be having Daddy. chips. Daddy's in the back, baby. I'm gonna be making Mexican corn with chips. 
um, meatballs and chicken nuggets in these two. I have some yellow cake. I know this is crazy because we're going to be having cake. But yellow cake with chocolate icing, like a loaf type of cake. I'm going to slice it up with some um, grapes here. And then in this little bitty cast iron skillet, I'm going to do some beans. Uh, this is not even heavy. <laughs> I know, baby. Tweet, tweet. Testing it out, girl. This would be the most amount of people we've had in our house. Hold on, baby. I'll, I'll show it to them. This would be the most amount of people we've had in the house, including my husband and I. It'll be about 10 or 11 people in this house. Woo! Girl, I need some sage to cleanse my house after they all leave. No, I know these people, but ooh. Lord, I gave JB $2. Hold on, y'all. Two money. Two money. Got you some money? Got some money with two. You got another dollar? Let, let me put this cake back in the fridge, baby. And then, you got some other money. Okay, baby, I got to put this cake back in the fridge. I just want to show you all the cake. Um, so It's white cake on the bottom and then yellow cake on the top. But yeah, I, I couldn't put any buttercream. I only had enough buttercream icing just for the layers. It'll work out. Good morning, you guys. That's the coffee maker being all loud. It's the morning of JD's birthday. I'm up early because I get up early, but y'all, it's staying dark here in the valley till, it's dark till close to seven o'clock. So, it'll stay dark for a while. But anyway, I'm up early, <clears throat> getting everything out, cleaning all the serveware. I think now it's gonna come from your birthday. They're gonna come, boo-boo. Okay, they're gonna come. I'm happy, you guys. Are you excited? It's, it's my birthday today. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> hey, dude. Can I have a drink? Not yet, JB. Can Mama. we? Can we wait until the other kids get here, please? Mm -hmm. Yes. You need to wait. Let me, let me see what's in that. I'll show you here in a minute. The kids. <laughs> okay, baby. Oh my God, look at Thomas's. And look at mom. Okay, I'm right there. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear JB. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Blow out your candle, baby. I know it's a little far. Yay! Oh, I know I look crazy, y'all. Um, I'm gonna let my hair this stretch. <laughs> let my hair stretch some. It is the week after Jabessa's birthday. There go my light, y'all. The week after JB's birthday. <clears throat> Everything's going good. We just got came back from um Dave and Busters, you guys. Just a little impromptu Dave and Busters run. Um, but look. Every time we go to Dave and Buster's, actually any of those type of kids places where you play games, JB always win a jackpot. But today, not only did he win the jackpot, um, but the machine starts short circuit and it gave him every ticket that was in the machine. So literally he got over a thousand tickets. At around 700 though, I was like, something's off. Cause it, you know, the little uh, machine lets you know what number of tickets you're at. So I ran and got someone at Dave and Buster's. Look y'all, I'm very honest, I'm very honest. So I went over and got, grabbed someone, a worker at Dave and Buster's and the machine just wouldn't stop. So the, the kids around him were looking like, one little girl was like, she actually saw the number. She's like, why is it giving him more than 500? <laughs> so I gave her like 10 tickets. I'm like, here. I like paid her off. I'm like, here, don't say nothing. <laughs> no. But we had so much fun. Um, he still doesn't grasp the concept of those type of games. So he only got him like, like a little ball that was like 25 points. I'm like, child, you got a thousand tickets. Anyway, so we just came back from there. Um, tomorrow is his first day of school at his new school. Y'all, it's a little bit different at this school. Um, not sure how I feel about it. It's way better than his other school. I mean, this is a private school and they offer private kindergarten. Way more affordable. 
not way more. It's about three or four dollars cheaper a day, which is still something. Um, <clears throat> they they do uh, what, what, what am I trying to say? Um, uniforms, school uniforms. <clears throat> now this school does follow the school district calendar so he will be out for the summertime which means that i'm gonna have to put him in, into a camp might as well get used to it child because this is he starts school in august he starts kindergarten i should say in august um but my husband was like <clears throat> excuse me y'all my husband was like well how much is the kindergarten there i told him look we are not paying for private kindergarten when kindergarten is free he's gonna go to a charter school public education out here phoenix is horrible we're worse than Texas. No shade to Texas. Um, he's going to a charter school. I already toured the school last month. And look, you guys, I am on my, you know, crossing my T's, dotting my I's when it comes to his education. Make sure to get, make sure we, you know, have a good foundation. But to pay for kindergarten. But yeah, you guys, everything is going well. Look, I don't know when I'm going to load this up, but I've stopped doing hair videos. Not necessarily stopped, but I don't have any hair videos to do. I hear JB. I have a Jane Carter wash day that I need to record, but that's in like two or, two or three more weeks. I don't have any hairstyles because I need to keep my hair in this protective style for a good three or four weeks. Yeah, so just telling y'all what's been going on. Besides that, I um, really have been starting further researching what I want to do as a career path. I started saving images for my um, vision board. I'm gonna do a separate vision board, like I mentioned in my 2018 goals video. I'm doing a separate vision board, board for my career path. I really don't know which area I wanna go in, you guys, but um, I think I can get back into doing, you know, taking care of me and figuring out what I want to do for the rest of my life, because I'm young, you know? Um, yeah, besides that girl, my husband got cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> Child. He has to go have cataract surgery on both of his eyes. And he, it's just a genetic thing. He had cataracts when he was, I think he told me he had cataract surgery. Do y'all know where SMU is at in Dallas? Is that, what is that? Steven, Steven, no, is it Steven? No, he, he said he went to SMU. Where is that at? Somewhere, I know it's in Dallas. He went to SMU and had some kids do it. He was a kid too. You know, he was, I think he said he was like 21, 22. And so, um, so yeah, it's not that he's getting older. It's just that he needs to have it redone. So yeah, besides that, I had stopped working out for a good two weeks, but I did a hit exercise today. I haven't gained any weight, thank God. Um, but I haven't lost any weight either, girl. Um, I am postponing my, um, membership, gym membership, because I'm just so busy right now. And I know I'm not going to go to the gym. So the good thing about my gym is that you can postpone payments. And I'm also thinking that... Since JB is going to be in school a lot more often and a lot more consecutive days, and when he's not in school, he's going to be at karate, I may dis discontinue childcare services for him. Save my coins, baby. Besides that, oh, I'm getting baptized. I know I'm random, y'all. I'm getting baptized, girl, next week at the the Juicy Fruit Church. I went from they went from these hoes ain't loyal to Juicy Fruit. But baby, let me tell you something. The first lady actually, um, they do a thing where she asks you to, um, she, I don't know what, she was doing church announcements and she asked them to play a little music for them um, before they do church announcements and they started playing Juicy Fruit and she in a very PC manner said that that was not acceptable. And I was like, high five, sis. Thank you for mentioning it. Yeah, she said, we're we gonna have to talk to, uh, after services about, you know, something a little bit more holy, holiness. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, good, someone said something. But no, I am getting baptized at this church. They do baptisms um, quarterly. And so I signed up for it for next week on the 21st. I'm really excited, y'all. Very, very excited. I was going to get it done. You guys know I mentioned it briefly last year. But the church, it, first of all, that church are Trump supporters. One, they are still, the pastor and wife are still anointed. I, I, there's no denying that. But I didn't realize how much they supported Trump. <sighs> but not only that, but it's a, a good hour away. I haven't been to that church in a year or two. It's a good hour away and, um, it's getting dark here, like at six o'clock, it's getting dark here in Phoenix and I honestly cannot drive in the dark. I cannot, it's, it's not safe for me to drive in the dark. And with this church, the church that I go to now, I've been going to on a regular basis, it's only 15 minutes away. And um, yeah, yeah, I'm, a, I'm comfortable with doing, having my baptism there. I've been reading up on the scriptures, on baptisms and the importance of being baptized. And I already knew this. Um, 
yeah so excited about that what else you guys i feel like I'm, I'm singing a lot right now only because i know that i'm not doing my regular vlogs and i want this vlogging series before i really start doing real-time vlogs just to keep you guys informed on what's going on besides that y'all i am happy can you tell baby i'm happy i'm excited i excited about the new year and I'm just so grateful for what um, God has has um, done for me and is continuing to do for me and I give all honor to him you guys he knows a pet co I don't do pets I just gave him the pep talk that after his dentist appointment on Monday candy would be like once like a holiday or something right baby he's ignoring me right what do you mean been back from ooh, my nose it's just I need to organize my makeup um we're at the end of January and just a couple of things you, uh, you probably won't know until I actually upload the video I'm supposed to be getting baptized in a couple more days but not to share too much information but Aunt Flo came early um so I called my mama about it and she started laughing she said yeah now you Oh, she's a super safe saint. She's like, oh, no, nah, you can't get into that water unclean. I'm like, oh, you went to, uh, you went real Old Testament on me. <laughs> that, and of course, it's tax season because it's the beginning of the year. One thing that I had kind of sort of thought about um, when I was doing my recertification for my student loans last year was how we would um, do our taxes since now we're married. Girl, this is a bunch of bullshit. See, this is why I need to get baptized to get out this attitude. So why is it that when we are, if we are to do, <sighs> so pissed off. If we are to do our taxes, marriage, but separately, we lose all types of credits. Child care credit, done. And baby, I paid close to five, well, we paid close to $5,000 last year. Charity, done. Education, done. But... If we saw, I thought they were shaby. If we do it married, married jointly, my student loans payments and his too, even though he doesn't have as much as mine, mine will literally go up by double. Yeah, I'm, I would be looking at close to 500. If not, actually, she said well over 500. I'm sorry, $500 a month. <sighs> so the uh, I've called Navient, that old hoe. I called them so. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, but I've been livid about this for about a week. I've been contacting Nevian several times, and the last girl I spoke to, she was really optimistic. She's like, well, you never know. You may get a raise or a better paying job. Things may happen for you, you know, happen um, by the time you do your recertification in September, and your payments may not be that much. I'm like, please don't get me all 
hopes all up, you know, for that. But um, I, I might just need to bite the bullet because quiet as it kept, we're not really supposed to be getting, uh, um, what do you call it, a uh, tax return. Because that's basically mean we're overpaying every paycheck. So if we adjust our withdrawals, our withdrawal country ass, um, we will be getting more per pay period, more throughout the year. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just be like, screw it. Forget the child girl credit. Child, you scared me. Oh my god. Yeah, I thought that was a snake because it was it was like water running. It was like shh. I don't know why I thought it was a snake. But anyway, y'all, come on, baby, let's get out of here. Come on. Um, besides that, I got good news from my doctor's appointment recently. My labs is good. Everything is okay. I had my paperwork submitted to get these titties taken down. Oh Lord, y'all haven't seen the baby in a while. Look at that. You too close, Pumble. What are you doing? I need my coffee because it's late. Give me some sugar. I want to show you guys Ryan. Oh. Mm. Um, are you belching? It was a storm. We are back out here at Desert Ridge again. Y'all, my hair is growing. Hey, man. <laughs> We're back out here just for the snow. Yeah, it's snow day. And it's a little, it's cloudy as you can see. It's, a, it's an overcast. It was sprinkling over there by us. I'm hungry. I'm gonna need to buy me some snacks. But anyway, they're supposed to make it snow. Um, and so, there's a line of everything. God, there's a lot of people out here. They just started the event 20 minutes ago. Now it's about the rain. I can feel the rain. I left my umbrella in the car. <laughs> so we come up here and granted it's not that far away but just the thought of getting ready and going out first of all it's cold phoenix we're not used to this type of chilliness it's 55 degrees right now um i gave jb one of my gloves because i couldn't find his gloves i couldn't find my other two gloves because we <laughs> When do we need gloves in Phoenix, right? But child, you can really tell that Phoenix people are not used to cool weather. And quite frankly, 58 degrees is really not that cold. Um, so I see people with their kids, they have on mittens, they have on gloves, they got scarves. One person have their kids in these big overalls. Like, uh, you remember that scene from um, the Christmas story where those kids were all layered up? That's how these kids are. Now, JB has on a sweater and like, you see him a little hoodie, but we ain't going all out. <laughs> It's people, but it's raining. It is raining. Miss Jackson doesn't do the rain on country. If it's raining and cold, we all gonna get sick. So we were out here for about 25 minutes. I'm like, Jamie, we gotta go. We gotta go. So we need to find somewhere where we can go inside, where I can eat, cause I'm hungry, and he can have fun. So we're thinking about Chick Fil A. Sorry, y'all. Y'all, I'm all up in this child. We're at the dentist. We had to uh, move JB's dentist appointment because he's not feeling too well. It's all allergies. Uh, so come on, baby. Y'all, look at these child's cavities. Come on, baby, let's get out. Let's hurry up. Ooh, it's cold. Ooh. Y'all, my baby has on everything but a coat. He wanted his little mittens on. Um, Look at him. Look at my teeth stuff. hurts, too. Your teeth hurt, baby? Oh, come on, baby. Wow. You guys, I am at that dinner thing. Look at these. And look, look what's over here. I'm going to make some Yeah, we're back from the dentist and he got himself a balloon. He did really well. The dentist, let me turn this car off. The dentist said she was very surprised at how well he did. I mean, we were done within 20 minutes. Girl, I'm not, I'm not back enough. 
I'm not backing up. Go around the door. Anyway, he did really, really well. I could tell there were some parts where it hurt a little bit, boo boo. The camera's green. The camera's green. And not necessarily hurt, but a little pressure. But um, made another appointment to come back the up here in two more weeks. Because it's like a two-step process. And okay, baby, they can't hear me. The silver fluoride diamine. I don't know the correct term, you guys. I've looked it all up. And um, again, it's just an alternative to actually having their teeth filled. Because having his teeth filled, he would have to go under, you know. And um, she made a good point. She said that children who have asthma or you know it's not a good idea to completely put them under um and she would even recommend me going to the hospital to do that i'm like did oh, I go no. under? you did not go under baby you were up so this is an alternative to it it's basically it's almost like a patch it's not like a band-aid meaning to stop the decay from going any further so yeah um she said he did so good that she even said under. he would be able to sit there while she actually fills some of his teeth i'm like you trying to get any type of money you can because this this thing was free you were okay yeah and i was so okay you you did so good baby i know i got like that i got a I know. Pink eye <laughs> JB has the pink eye. It's not funny, but at least I know what's wrong with him. For the past two days, he's been congested, coughing, and um, the pink eye can you have I, cold. And stomach hurt too. Stomach hurt from coughing. You can have cold-like symptoms, but when I when he got up this morning, his entire eye was crusted. But thank God, I have yeah, I be keeping my medication. I don't throw away nothing, so I have pink eye medication. Put some drops in his eyes. Put some drops in his eyes, and so he's gonna stay home for at least it, two it days. For at least two days. I'm gonna turn the camera around on him so I can show y'all what he looks like with all this madness going on. With the silver diamide fluoride paste for his teeth, it will turn his teeth dark. And so I've been talking to him. He's been looking at his teeth saying, oh, I'm sad. So I've been washing oh, his teeth. I'm, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I've been, it. I've been. <sighs> stop it. You better stop it. I've been brushing his teeth with well, I've been brushing your teeth with baby baking soda. Baking soda, And that's, that's been helping. And so, um, oh, he has to have another session of it um, in two but more I weeks. I'll show you guys my teeth. Oh, okay, baby. Here we go. Do so, you guys see my teeth? So yeah, so what this, happens this is that... The black stuff is gross. It's gross for so right there. Yeah. So you say cheese, boo-boo. It's really not that bad now that I look at it. I mean, you have to be all the way up. Oh, you see that right there? So what happens is that those are little bitty cavities, you guys. And so they put the paste on it to stop the decaying of the teeth. And, and then, then I have pink this, eye. Then this <laughs> it's a pink eye. Just a hot mess, boo-boo. Pink eye. Yes, but that's okay. We know what the pink eye is. We have medication for it. But anyway, um, he did. Anyway. He did. What was that? What was that that spilled? Are you peeing or was that the juice? Uh, juice. I'm about to say. Um, he did really well at the dentist yesterday. Even the dentist, she was just very amazed at how well what he did. <laughs> it's just a lesson learned. It really is. No more candy. And you guys, he gets offered candy by everybody. And My I do neighbors. All the candy. I just want to break. I really want to break. Y'all know JB has pink eye this morning. And I called to school and was like, okay, my son has pink eye. He will not be here. He will not be going to school today. Hopefully he can go tomorrow. If not, um, what is your, you know, policy on mistakes? And she's like, well, unfortunately, he has to stick to the schedule. Meaning he just can't show up. Like if he missed today, clearly he missed today. He can't show up Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, called in his sick day, right? Hopefully he'll feel better come the morning time. But then a couple of hours later, he's crying. His ear hurts. I'm like, oh my God. So now your ear hurts, your eye hurts. And I know it's all due to, the, you know, he's just sick. I'm like, oh my God, can I not have a break? And literally, y'all know, all of the, all last month, we were both sick. Mostly me, I was sick all last month. 
And now we're at the last end of January and he's back sick again. It's just, it's just too much for me. I need a break, I need just a damn break. Just a break, but you don't get a break when you're a mommy. Heads up, all you young girls. You don't get a break once you become a mom. You don't. My hair is dirty. I'm supposed to be doing a, a video today. I can't do no videos when he's here. So I'm gonna have to postpone that till tomorrow and hopefully he'll be back tomorrow. You can see what my hair looks like now. Besides that, that is it. It's just, that's enough too, child. Cause I'm just running around and my to-do lists are getting out of control because yeah, there's just certain things you can't control over. But the only thing I can control at this point is how I respond to it. Um, and that's what I'm choosing to do y'all is and look now after everything had hit the fan. Real quick, y'all, I just got finished watching a video. First of all, well, let me just tell you. Um, by Cravy Craven Curly Kinks. Is it Craven Curly Kinks or Craven Kinky Curls? Anyway, I know some of y'all have seen this video because it's gotten almost a hundred thousand views at this point. And the title of it is YouTube Broke My Hair. Now, before I give my take on what happened, I'ma say this. I'm very empathetic to the sister. I just subscribed or discovered her two weeks ago, actually. I love her hair. She has beautiful hair. Uh, she seems to be to know, she seems to know what she's doing. However, she had a setback. Overall, like I said, I'm empathetic to what happened because girl, it can happen to the best of us, right? You could know your hair for 10 plus years and still have a setback when it comes to your hair. That's just the reality of it. But this is what i think happened with her hair let me tell you what the video is basically about it's fairly long it's about 30 minutes long she tried a new hair product on her hair echo style gel she hadn't used gel in years i think she said she's been natural for seven years first of all she has beautiful hair absolutely gorgeous this is one of the reasons why i subscribed to her she has beautiful four category tail bone length hair she's only been natural for seven years okay so she basically used echo style gel let me wrap it up she used echo style gel and according to her she said it not it tangled up her hair then she decided to use Aussies that Aussie but I believe she probably used the Aussie 3 in Miracle which is a great conditioner however in my opinion is not the best conditioner for detangling she used a clarifying shampoo and it, it just got worse and worse and worse and worse so now she's seeing echo style gel ruined her hair but and the same token, she's also saying she's not sure what happened. Let me tell you what I think happened because this has happened to me before, not necessarily with a product, but with a style. Um, one, number one, you're never supposed to shampoo your hair while it is matted or tangled. That is the biggest mistake. Not only did she shampoo her hair, but she used a clarifying shampoo. Clarifying shampoo, meaning I need to strip the ingredients i need to strip your hair i need to take away all the oils which helps you to detangle your hair but she didn't again she didn't know this now i think the, and the reason why she said maybe i i was she used a clarifying to get rid of the buildup so i don't know what she's done because i again i didn't read that look excuse me look at the entire video but it's looking at the amount of hair she has it's gonna take her a while i had an issue where my hair was very dry and tangled <laughs> and i did not only did i do a treatment i did a protein treatment on top of my hair so my hair was tangled i shampooed i did a protein treatment i don't know if you guys remember this was about two years ago my hair was severe was it this side or was this side my hair was matted like all up in here i cut it took me hours to just detangle that one section but then i had to end up cutting some hair and i think this is what she's leaning towards is trimming some of her hair but looking at the way her hair looks again i feel bad for her i really do looking at her hair it looks choppy but i think that's from over, over manipulation of trying to get all the tangles Why out not? but yeah when your hair is tangled and matted don't shampoo it don't do it don't sit down get you a bottle of wine <laughs> load up your netflix because you're gonna be sitting there for a while that's if you have the patience but she can she can get her hair back together she has beautiful hair so yeah